Welcome to Step Into the Valley with Katrina Dew at the Three Step Realty Group. And I'm Katrina Dew. <laughs> so today in our episode, we are going to talk about what's happening in the real estate market today. Now I know normally at this time of the month, we talk about the monthly market update, but with our shelter in place happening at COVID-19, I think it's really important that we talk about what's happening right now. Let's start with the report that my team and I keep updated on daily and weekly basis. And our report is updated with all of the homes, with the cities that we kind of, we focus on, the cities that have active listings, so you'll see that on the, the left section there, the number of pending homes um, within each city. And then you'll also see whether that number is up down or the same as it was yesterday. So remember, we update this every day, but the next section is the one I really, really wanna focus on with you today. And that is the activity that has happened in the last seven days. So that means from midnight last night through um, last Friday. So the last seven days, and you'll see the number of homes that have sellers or homeowners that have put their homes on the market that would be active the number of homes that went pending, so the number of buyers that were out there last week looking at homes, whether in person or virtually, hopefully virtually, wrote offers and had them accepted. And then maybe most importantly to know are the number of homes that successfully closed in the last seven days. These numbers represent for us that, you know, there are people out there that are still needing to sell, buy homes and that systems are in place to still get them closed with lenders, escrow companies, and recording offices. So I don't know if you saw any of the posts I post on social media this last week, but I did a couple posts involving the unemployment rate and, and some um, experts' predictions of what could or it may happen. So I'd like to kind of go over some of those with you because this still doesn't tell us, my report doesn't tell us, well, what's going to happen? Um, and let's start with the, um, the prediction that we received, we watched from Goldman Sachs. So first what they did is they did a thorough analysis of the unemployment rates um, through three periods, the Great Depression, the Great Recession, and our current pandemic crisis. Um, and what you'll see is during the Great Depression period, we had um, unemployment rates from 8.7% up to, and it peaked at 24.9%. It's pretty high. Well, what they're predicting for us in 2020, Goldman Sachs is predicting that we could get to or around 15% unemployment rate. But what you'll also notice that they immediately predicted the next year that we are going to go back down because when it comes to pandemics, historically, we have economies or that kind of go in a V down and then quickly goes up as opposed to recessions caused by other sources, like in our Great Recession um, that we had in 07, 08, where it went down and had a, a bell curve, stood at the bottom, then went up slowly. Um, so 2020, we gotta keep our eyes on what's happening and, and you know, take caution and, with what we're doing. So let's kind of go on, what does unemployment rates mean for home sales? So another um, chart that we have here is what the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics and National Association of Realtors got together and did. They put together research of the um, four points that you'll see on this chart of unemployment rates. And you'll see point where unemployment rates were going up or down per se, home sales or the real estate market were not affected. For number three, that point there you see, that's when we had 07, 08, and you'll see home sales were down and unemployment rate was high. What I'd like to really point out here in this case is that home sales or the real estate market went down before unemployment went up. And that is because that recession period was caused by the housing market. And during that period, um, when we were experiencing that, that's when lenders really tightened, tightened up on their standards of um, how they gave loans out and dispersed um, credit availability. Their mortgage, mortgage credit availability for the month of March decreased by 16.1%. Uh, now, that, that's because we're seeing standards tighten even more again right now 
because they want to see what's happening or what's going to happen, um, how long are this pandemic is going to last, and when we get out of it. For example, uh, many, many lenders have increased their minimum standards for uh, credit scores. There's, that's an example of some tightening going on. Um, some lenders have put a pause or a hold on their down payment assistance programs. Again, mortgage credit availability decreasing or tightening, if you will. Um, now, a report that the Mortgage Bankers Association put out was a little different. It's talking about the mortgage applications that were processed. Um, they said that within the last week, so week ending of April 3rd, the number of mortgage applications processed went down by 17.9%. Now that could be a combination of both the mortgage credit availability and our shelter in place and people not being able to work right now, many, many people not being able to work because of shelter in place. These are things that we're gonna be watching at the Three Step Realty Group, keeping our eyes on it and sharing information with you as it comes up. In fact, we'll be doing more of these market updates than normal so you have the information um, at hand and you know what's going on. Um, now, if you or you know someone that needs to buy a home now and they have to relocate or someone that needs to sell a home, please give us a call or talk to a realtor or lender that has the ability to do most of their activities, if not all of their activities with you virtually in this time of what we're going through with shelter in place, COVID-19. We want to make sure you're staying safe and those around you are staying safe and healthy. Now, don't forget to give us a call if you have any questions and we're going to keep you updated. In the meantime, subscribe to our YouTube channel here, Step Into the Valley with Katrina Dew, because every Friday we're going to put a new video out for you.